self-driving buses could be coming to the city of Memphis. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Alex Coleman. April Thompson is on assignment. WREG's Jordan James joins us now live with more on this new project. In Jordan, we understand it could be a huge benefit for bus drivers and riders. Yeah, Alex, that is absolutely right. Throughout the pandemic, MANA has been dealing with staffing shortages, and this is expected to provide a huge relief for them, and it also could benefit riders as well. The future of public transportation in Memphis could be changing if everything goes according to plan. Mata has entered into a partnership with a Virginia-based company called Moment AI, which would bring self-driving buses to the Bluff City. It's something riders say they would support. That's very interesting. I mean, you know, I didn't believe that Frankenstein could actually be a part of uh, the um, professor's uh, life. But that is really interesting for a bus to take you around the world. Moment AI's founder is Memphis native Megan Gray. She says the goal is to make vehicles safer for people in vulnerable communities and says it's an honor to partner with MATA. To put a black female owned company, a Memphis company, as one of their partners, I, I really uh, thank them for uh, taking this stuff with, with me and putting that trust uh, within Mama AI. Gray tells WREG the technology created by her company is already being used and is continuing to expand. She says they have a 95% success rate. Again, you get a lot of tests. It's not like you just put people uh, in an autonomous vehicle tomorrow. You make you go through pallets, you go through uh, uh, it's very, it's, it's very secure. You go through a lot of different steps before it's released. Gray says self-driving buses could help MATA with staffing shortages and doesn't believe current employees need to worry about losing their jobs. Innovation creates more jobs. It actually did not create less jobs because it, it creates more jobs, and that has been proven across, mm -hmm. multiple, uh, across multiple cities and states. The project is expected to be funded through federal grants. No timeline was given for when the new buses could arrive. Matta tells me that more information is expected to be released on Monday, so we'll be sure to keep you updated on this developing story. Reporting here live in Cordova, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3.